Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, I'll be ranking every card in Clash Royale from trash, meaning it needs a buff, to the S tier, meaning it needs a nerf. I'll be ranking each card today based on their stats, but also on my personal opinion as a pro player. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you guys agree or disagree with my rankings. To start off with, we have B Rad's favorite card, the Archer Queen. I'll put it in the B tier. It's a pretty good champion, definitely one of the better champions, but champions have kind of gotten overshadowed by evolutions. Archers, I'll put them in the C tier, honestly, low C tier. Everyone likes to say how solid they are, but they really aren't solid. Nobody plays them, only a couple expo players. Arrows. They're a very good spell. They were really popular last season, especially in Lava Hound. Even though Lava Hound got a nerf, I think it'll still be a very good spell. I'll put it in the A tier. Baby Dragon. I think I'll have to put it high C tier, maybe mid C tier, because the number one player last season used Splash Yard with Baby Dragon, but that's pretty much the only deck it's played in. Balloon. Balloon was actually going to get a nerf if people voted for it. I don't know why though, I feel like it's pretty balanced. I would put it in the low B tier just because of how broken Lava Loon was last season. I think like 3 out of 5 of the top 5 finishers had Lava Hound. Bandit. Bridge Spam hasn't been too good recently. I could put it low B tier, but I feel like maybe high C tier would be more fitting for the card. Barbarian Barrel. Very good small spell. Not the best small spell, but... I think it can go low A tier. Barbarian Hut. I haven't seen it in an extremely long time. I know one player does run recruits Barbarian Hut Royal Hogs at top ladder, I think, but that's basically it. I'll put it in the F tier. Definitely could use an evolution or something interesting. I just hope the evolution for it doesn't make it even more toxic. Bats. They got an evolution, but the evolution really isn't all that good like I thought it might be. It can be sometimes, but oftentimes it will just get zapped away or just killed by any small spell. I'll put them high B tier. They're still a good card even without the evolution. Battle Healer. It got a small rework or I guess just a buff, but hasn't really done much for the card. You know it's bad if e Golem doesn't even play Battle Healer anymore. I'll put it above the Barbarian Hut in F tier. Battle Ram. People said the HP buff didn't really do too much for it, but I feel like it actually made it quite a bit better. It now connects so much more often. I think I'll put it below the Baby Dragon in C tier. It's definitely better than it was before, but still not one of the top win conditions by any means. Bomber. It was really used in Lava Hound a lot last season, but that's mainly it. I think I'll put it above Baby Dragon in C tier. Bomb Tower. Bomb Tower was really good last season, probably borderline S tier, but it did get a decent nerf to its hit speed, so I think I'll have to drop it to low A tier. We're going to kind of see how it plays out, how the nerf plays out, but I think it'll still be maybe the best building or at least close to it. Bowler. I kind of want to rank Bowler at a pretty decent place, but nobody really plays Splash Yard or Lumberloon Freeze on top ladder. Sometimes there is Graveyard Bowler in competitive play, but that's about it, so... I don't know, I think I have to go with the low C tier for Bowler. Cannon Cart. People love to rank Cannon Cart so high every time on their tier lists, but I don't know why. It's not really used in much of anything right now. Even in competitive play, I don't think really anyone plays it. I'll actually go for the Cannon Cart right below the Bowler. Cannon. I mean, Cannon wasn't really too good. Maybe it'll be a bit better now that Bomb Tower got a nerf. It could kind of start to replace Bomb Tower in some decks. I'll go for the high C tier. I feel like it could be low B tier, but there's just better options right now, even after the Bomb Tower nerf, I think. Clone. Okay, this card could probably go below the F tier if there was one. Maybe like a Riley tier or something like that. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think I'll... Ooh, I mean, I guess I'll go for it above Barb Hut, but both of these cards are extremely bad, and Healer is extremely bad too. It's just not a good meta at all for Clone. There's Poison everywhere, Executioner, Tornado, Dark Prince. It's a solid card once again, but it just doesn't really fit in the current meta. I think I'll go for kind of like a mid-C tier. I don't know, it could maybe be a few places higher, but 
hard to say. Dark Goblin, it's pretty much only used in that one Evo Recruits Skeleton Barrel spam deck, which is kind of a troll deck to be honest, not really a very meta deck. I think I'll go for Dark Goblin right behind Bomber in the C tier. It's not a bad card. I know a lot of you will disagree with me on this one, but we're not talking about mid ladder. At least we're not focusing on that. I'm mainly focusing on top ladder and competitive play. Earthquake. I mean, I did pretty well with Hog Earthquake last season. I got top 7 in the world, but I don't think Earthquake itself is very good at all. I'll put it in the C tier above Bomber. Kind of high C tier. Hog EQ is viable, but only if you're super good at it. Electro Dragon. I know a lot of people put Electro Dragon in the F tier, but I feel like it's actually not too bad right now. Some Golem players use it. That's pretty much it, but there is quite a good Golem pump deck with it. I'll put it above the Cannon Cart in C tier. Electro Giant. Man, it was really good for a while, or at least decent for a while, but ever since Evolution started to come out, like especially the Evo Knight and stuff, I just have not seen E Giant anywhere. I think I'll put it actually below the Battle Ram in C tier. Electro Spirit. Some people might think E Spirit might be good now since bats are going to be meta. Or not meta, but just a bit more popular than before. But E Spirit doesn't even kill evolved bats if they heal a bit at least. So I think E Spirit will not be very good. And also Royal Giant isn't used too much, which is pretty much the only deck that actually used Electro Spirit. I think I'll put it below the Earthquake and C tier just because it is a 1 Elixir card. You can still sometimes get some value out of it. Electro Wizard. Ooh, it's kind of hard to say. I always feel like Electro Wizard is a solid card, but when I think about it, I don't really know what decks even run it nowadays. Nothing really does, to be honest. I'll put it in the C tier above Baby Dragon. E Barbs. Oh man, E Barbs are so bad right now. Maybe once they get an evolution, they could start to compete with. Barbarians, because right now Barbarians are 10 times better in pretty much anything. I'll put them pretty low, right above the Cannon Cart in C tier. Pump. Pump is quite good right now. It could even be B tier, but I think I'll have to put it high C tier just because it's mainly used in kind of just trolley decks, you know? Mainly Expo, and those Expo players do well early season, but they kind of disappear at the end of the season. It is used in the one E-Golem deck too, though, so... I think I'll put it below the Earthquake in C tier. E Golem. Okay, guys, hear me out. E Golem is actually not bad right now. There are quite a few players running E Golem, Skeleton King, Pump, Night Witch last season, so I think it might actually be quite a bit better than people expect. I'm just not exactly sure where I should put it. Hmm. I think I'll actually put it in the C tier here. I don't know, some people could argue that it could be a little bit lower C tier, but it was quite good last season, and I feel like E-Golem is actually kind of underrated. It does do quite a bit of damage, even by itself. Executioner. Quite a few people were running Monor Executioner Tornado last season. Some people stopped playing it at the very end, but it's a solid card, for sure. I think I'll put it below the E-Golem in C tier. Fireball. I mean, there's not too much to say about Fireball. Very good spell, and that's really all there is to say. I think I'll put it below the Bomb Tower in A tier, just because there are other options right now, even though it's a good spell. Firecracker. It's only used in Hog Earthquake, and Hog Earthquake was viable last season, but not really good at all, and it wasn't because of the Firecracker. I mean, it was a good deck, but it wasn't because of the Firecracker by any means. So I think I'll put it... Ooh, I might even put it below the Battle Ram in C tier. Fire Spirit. Good card, but what deck actually runs Fire Spirit? I have no idea. Maybe Royal Hogs, but Royal Hogs pretty much fell out of the meta. Maybe they could come back now that Bomb Tower got a little bit of a nerf. I'll go for Fire Spirit behind the Dark Goblin in C tier. Fisherman. Fisherman is only good in Royal Giant, pretty much. I mean, it's a solid card in some other decks, but it's not really preferred in most other decks over the other options you can pick. Fisherman can go... I guess kind of in the middle of the pack in the C tier. Flying Machine. It's used in Recruits, Royal Hogs, and that's pretty much it. Even Lava Hound decks don't normally use it anymore. We can put it above the... I don't know. 
I guess above the Executioner in C tier. Freeze. I think I'll put Freeze kind of low, but not too low. Maybe right above, right below the E drag in the C tier. Graveyard Freeze isn't too bad in competitive play when your opponent burns certain counters to it. Furnace. Furnace is not very good. It's not horrible, it's just that spells completely destroy it of any kind. Furnace can go at the top of the F tier. Giant. Giant was pretty bad, but it did get a decent buff. I feel like Goblin Giant kind of overshadowed it, but it might be a bit better now that it got that range buff in the last balance changes. Hmm. I think I'll put it actually at the top of the C tier. It could even be low B tier, I just don't want to overrate it before I know how good it is. Giant Skeleton. Oh, it's a bad card, man. I mean, it's not a bad card, but nobody plays it, so I can't really give it a good rating, even if I think it's not that bad. I guess I'll put it, like, low C tier. I feel like it could be a bit higher, but just because I never see it ever, it's kind of hard for me to justify putting it any higher. Snowball. It did get a decent rework, which made it better in Balloon and stuff like that. I mean, the thing is, I feel like the Snowball rework wasn't too helpful for the card, but the thing is... What made it a bit better is that it does synergize a bit better with the certain wind conditions that it is normally used in, like Graveyard and Balloon, because you kind of want the slow more than the actual damage. I'll put Snowball behind the bats in B tier. Could be a bit higher, we'll have to see. Goblin Barrel. I mean, Logbait has been pretty solid, not one of the top meta decks, but I know like the good Logbait players can always perform quite well with the card. I guess I'll put it... I don't know, maybe maybe behind the Bomber in C tier. I don't think the Goblin Barrel itself is very good. It does have one bug too where it sometimes just doesn't get as much damage as it's supposed to get because of some random things. Goblin Cage. Goblin Cage did get a health buff for the Goblin Brawler, so I think it will be a little bit better now, but still not too versatile except in a few beatdown decks like Royal Recruits especially. I'll go for a Goblin Cage... I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I'll put it right here, right above Executioner in the C tier, because I think it will be a bit better now with that extra HP. Goblin Drill. Not a very good card, it was viable for some time with Firecracker, but after that got nerfed, Drill kind of disappeared. So I guess Drill can go maybe... Right above the Goblin Barrel in C tier. Sometimes in competitive play, there are a few Drill decks. I mean, I guess there is one Drill deck, one Drill Executioner deck that is decent. Okay, now that I think about it, I'll put it below the E Spirit in C tier. Goblin Gang. It has made a comeback in Log Bait, so it's not horrible. Not too good either. I'll go for it above the Dark Goblin in C tier. Goblin Giant. Man, Goblin Giant has been so good recently compared to what it used to be. I do want to rank it kind of high because it also is super good in Sparky right now. It kind of made Sparky come back. I'll put it in the B tier below Snowball, kind of mid B tier. Goblin Hut. <laughs> we have a common theme among the spawners where they can all end up in the F tier. Just about all of them. I'll put it right above the Furnace because I feel like it is a little bit better. Maybe some weird graveyard decks might use it, but they gave it a pretty heavy nerf for no reason when it wasn't even that broken. It was pretty good for some time, but not that good, and they just nerfed it so heavily. I guess because it was a toxic card. Goblins. They were going to nerf Goblins, but they ended up not nerfing them, so I think they're pretty good. I guess they can go in the A tier. Maybe below Bomb Tower. Golden Knight. I mean, Golden Knight is pretty much only used with Electro Giant. And Electro Giant isn't all that good right now, so I'll go for it in the low C tier. If Electro Giant becomes better again, then maybe Golden Knight would also become better. Golem. There were quite a few Golem Pump players, but they kind of disappeared near the end of this season as the meta started to take shape. I'll go for Golem. I don't know, maybe right above Goblin Gang in the C tier. Graveyard. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, Graveyard did finish number one, as I said, so I can't rank it too low. I think I'll have to put it in the... 
maybe high B tier, could even put it low A tier, because when I think about it, the cards in Splash Yard aren't really that good, it's mainly the Graveyard itself that kind of carries the deck. I mean, the only broken card in Splash Yard is the Poison and Evo Knight. That's pretty much it. So I think I'll... Ooh, I don't know, man, I don't know, it's, it's so hard to say. It could be maybe low A tier or high B tier. Oh man, I don't know, I'll put it low A tier. It's a great win condition. Guards. Guards are only used as a substitute in competitive play when you don't have like skeletons open or something or goblins, but on ladder, I pretty much never see them at all. They can go below the fire spirit in C tier. Heal spirit. I haven't seen too much heal spirit recently. The goblin giant decks haven't really been using it as much as they used to. I'll go for the heal spirit. I don't know. I guess below guards in this C tier, maybe even below Electro Wizard. Hog Rider. Quite a good win condition, but I feel like it's pretty fairly balanced in this current meta. It was quite good before when Evo Crack was OP, but after that, it stopped being quite as good. I mean, I guess I'll go for low B tier. I would honestly put it high C tier, but I know a lot of people will complain if I do that, so I can work with low B tier. I'm just ranking most of the win conditions pretty low because I feel like most of the win conditions aren't really that OP, it's mainly, this, mainly the support cards that are really good. Hunter. Hunter can go... I guess below guards in the C tier. Ice Golem. Ice Golem got a decent buff to its Death Nova. I noticed it is quite a bit better with Hog now, but... Evo Knight is still the preferred option for most decks. I'll let it be above the Heal Spirit and Seed here. Ice Spirit. They were going to nerf it, but they decided not to. I'll put it at the very... Ooh, I don't know if I should put it above or below Arrows. I guess I'll put it at the very top of the A tier. Really broken cycle card. Ice Mage. I would rank it pretty low, but it did finish number one. But I still think I should rank it fairly low. I'll put it right above the Firecracker and C tier, kind of right together. They're best friends. <laughs> Inferno Dragon. It was used a ton in Lava Hound. Lava Hound did get a nerf, but I think it'll still be pretty much the same as it was before. I mean, 6% HP is definitely something, but... It won't kill the card. It kind of just depends how the meta forms. If there's a lot of air defense in most of the meta decks, then Lava Hound might be weak, but if not, then I think Lava Hound will be very good, and also Inferno Dragon in that case will also be very good. I'll put it at the top of the B tier. Inferno Tower. It's not really good at all. A few Logbait players use it, but most Logbait players prefer to have the Tesla in there. It is used in competitive play a decent amount, though. So I'll put it below the Bomber in C tier. Knight. Okay, we have our first S tier card. This card, man, is very, very, very OP. Probably one of the best evolutions so far. I mean, I guess Evo Cracker may have been a bit stronger, but Evolution Knight is just insane still, man. It's so good, it can fit in pretty much every deck. It got a little bit of a nerf, but I don't think it's going to change too much about the card. Should still be the best card in the game. Lava Hound. It was probably low A tier, but it got a nerf. So I think it's more like... Ooh, I don't know. I think I'll put it high B tier. The thing is, Lava Hound is a really weird card. It can either be really OP or really mid, depending on what the meta is. Like, if people still continue to play Bomb Tower, Lava Hound could be pretty good. But if they decide to switch to stuff like Tesla, then it might be pretty weak. I don't know, I don't know. I, I could maybe put it a bit lower. I guess I will put it behind the Goblin Giant, just because maybe Lava Hound is also good because of the support cards, not just the Lava Hound itself. Lightning. I mean, I feel like Lightning is good, but nobody plays it, so I can't justify putting it too high. I might put it... I guess below Giant in the C tier. Lumberjack. It's in Golem, and that's it. 
I know you guys face it in Lumberloon Freeze, but it's not used at the top anywhere. So I guess it could go... Maybe above Electro Spirit in C tier. Magic Archer. I would put it pretty high, but it did get a pretty big nerf, and now it's quite a bit weaker. We'll have to see if it's still viable or not. I think it will be solid, but not nearly as good as before. It's kind of hard to get those little chip damage shots like you could before. I'll put it... Um, I guess below the lightning in C tier. I think it'll still be used, but it won't be as good as before. Mega Knight. Ooh, Mega Knight is bad, man. I haven't seen pretty much any Mega Knight at all recently. We can let it be... Maybe even below the bowler in C tier. Mega Minion. A couple Lava Hound players use it, but... Even then, most Lava Hound players use other support cards like Inferno Dragon and Skeleton Dragons. It can go... I mean, I guess... Above the Ice Wizard in C tier. Mighty Monor. Mighty Monor is quite good right now, but... The Evo Knight is so much better, so it's kind of hard to... Justify putting Mighty Monor in many decks. I guess I could put it, um... Hmm. Maybe above the Archer Queen in B tier. It's gonna be a lot better if Evo Knight kind of gets toned down more eventually. It's more like an A tier card, but the meta doesn't suit it at all. Monor. Ooh, I almost want to put Monor in the S tier. I don't know. I, I think I'll... I'll have to put it, um, I guess above Ice Spirit, very top of the A tier, very good card. It's used in Lava Hound, in Modern Wall Breakers, in Modern Balloon. You can name pretty much anything and it can have a Modern in there. Minion Horde. Minion Horde isn't that bad. I mean, I guess it kind of is. Yeah, I guess it kind of is, huh? Because a lot of people play Arrows now, so... Nobody really likes to play Minion Horde except a couple Mortar Bait players. Minion Horde can go in the C tier below Mega Knight. Minions. Minions are actually quite good right now. They were used in Lava Hound. They can be used in Giant Graveyard. Also in the Goblin Giant spam deck. I actually quite like Minions currently. They fit very well in a lot of stuff. I might actually put them quite high. I don't think I ever put them this high, but I feel like they could potentially be like at the very top of the B tier. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I guess so. I might put them below Snowball. And, I mean, I guess I could have put them below Snowball instead, but I don't know, man. They're really good. Mini P.E.K.K.A. It's used in one meta Goblin Giant deck and some Sparky decks, but I don't think it's the Mini P.E.K.K.A. that really makes the decks all that good. It's mainly the other stuff in them. I guess I'll put it above the Lumberjack in C tier. Monk. Monk hasn't really been very good at all recently. I don't really know why exactly. I mean, I guess because Evo Knight destroys it. That's probably the main reason. And also, it's quite bad against Lava Hound, which was quite popular. And also, certain other things just don't really favor the Monk right now. I'll put it in this C tier. Mortar. Mortar was quite good for a very long time. People even wanted it to get another nerf, but it just kind of fell down itself as the evos started pouring in. I guess the Mortar evo wasn't that good like people thought it would be. I mean, it does feel quite strong, but you don't get it too often throughout a game. Some people do play Mortar bait still, but nobody really plays Mortar control with Monor anymore. I mean, I guess I'll put it kind of like high C tier. Mother Witch. Mother Witch is quite good, man. It kind of just jumped up out of nowhere and started fitting in quite a few of the meta decks. Man, we have so many C tier cards, I just noticed. C tier is kind of like the balanced tier. B tier is like a little bit above average, and these two tiers are very good. This tier is not very good. <laughs> Mother Witch, Mother Witch, huh? 
I'll put it below the Lava Hound in B tier. Musketeer. I mean, not too much even uses Musketeer right now. Maybe Hog 2.6, which really isn't meta at all at top ladder. Only one tricks use it. So I guess it could go maybe above the Monk in the C tier. Night Witch. Night Witch was quite good in E Golem last season. It spawns bats so quickly and it also does have the one death spawn bat now. Which isn't too good, but it's not half bad either. I guess Mother Witch can go... Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll put it above above uh, Goblin Barrel in the C tier. Maybe it could be a bit lower in the C tier, but I don't know. Mirror. Normally, I do put it quite low in the F tier. I kind of do want to put it at the bottom of the F tier, but... I don't know. I think I'll put it at the top of the F tier, actually, because the one thing about Mirror is that if there's, like, a really good card in the meta, you can always Mirror it up, and then it kind of makes Mirror good. But the thing is, the most broken cards right now are Evolutions, which you can't Mirror up. Like, if you play an Evo Knight, you can't Mirror and get a second Evo Knight, so... I don't know. Mirror can be good sometimes in troll decks mainly. It's not really used in any real decks, but it's not horrible. I mean, it kind of is, but not that horrible, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Pekka. I'll put Pekka quite low. I'll actually put it below the freeze in the C tier. You know how bad Pekka is right now? Pekka is so bad that even in Pekka bridge spam, people started to put Evo recruits instead of the Pekka itself. That's kind of sad, man. That's really sad. I feel sad for the P.E.K.K.A. Phoenix. Phoenix was quite good for a long time, but it kept on getting little nerfs here and there. So it kind of toned down. And also it was mainly used in E-Giant and sometimes Lava Hound, but now E-Giant isn't meta and Lava Hound doesn't really use it much anymore. So I guess Phoenix can kind of just chill below the Goblin Cage. Poison. I would say Poison is the best big spell right now. So I think it could go, could go probably, even, it could even go S tier. It's very good in Graveyard, very good in Modern Poison, which is by far the best deck, and also a few other things Poison can be used in. But I think I'll go for it at the very top of the A tier. Prince, Prince is not really used at all right now. It doesn't really suit the current meta, like Evo Recruits, for example, just run through Princes. Prince can actually go below the freeze in the C tier. Maybe even below the P.E.K.K.A. Princess. It is used in Log Bait. And I guess Hog Princess does use it too. I don't know how good Hog Princess will be, but it might be a bit better than before with the new Evo Bats and also the small Ice Golem buff. I'll put it above the Night Witch in the C tier. Rage. Rage has been quite good recently. Really works well with all the Goblin Giant decks going around and Sometimes some Balloon decks or things like that can also fit their Rage in there. Not a half bad small spell. I'll put it above the Mother Witch in the B tier. Could even be a bit higher in the B tier, maybe. Ramrodder. There was only one player who was using Ramrodder at the very top of ladder last season, but he's a one trick with the deck, pretty much, so that kind of explains why he was doing so well. It was good for a while in competitive play with Evo Knight in there and stuff, but that deck has stopped being nearly as popular for some reason. Maybe because the Bomb Tower decks just seem to defend it pretty well. So Ram Rider. I guess I'll have to put it... Man, I don't know. I guess above the Princess in C tier. Could even be a bit lower, maybe. We'll have to see. Rascals. Rascals are quite bad. They got a few buffs, and I thought they were starting to become good, but they just haven't been good. I'll put them below the freeze and C tier. Rocket. Rocket did get a nerf. It's still used sometimes on ladder, mainly in log bait. Sometimes minor rocket and stuff like that. So I guess I'll put it, um... Maybe... I don't know, maybe maybe right here in the C tier. Could even be a couple spots lower. Royal Delivery. It's used in Monor Control, but that Monor Control deck 
that has delivery and rocket isn't really that good. I mean, it can kind of work, but it's not one of the most popular decks in the meta. I'll put it below the Inferno Tower in this C tier. Could even be a little bit higher, maybe. Ghost. I was ranking Ghost quite high for quite some time, but the Royal Giant decks that were using it and also the Bridge Spam decks that were using it stopped being nearly as effective. So I guess Ghost can kind of just sit somewhere in the middle of this tier list. I don't want to rank it too low. I guess I'll put it above the Musketeer in C tier. Royal Giant. It was good for so long, but it just got a couple small nerfs. Or I guess a couple medium-sized nerfs, and it completely fell off, even with the evolution. I feel like the Evo Knight decks just counter Royal Giant too much. That's the main problem. Royal Giant is still viable in competitive play, but not really on top ladder. Hmm. I guess I'll put it above the Magic Archer in C tier. Royal Hogs. They might be a bit better now with the Bomb Tower nerf, but I think Bomb Tower will still be the building of choice in most cycle decks. Although some people might start to play Tesla a little bit. I'll put the Piggies... I mean, they are used in Recruits too, actually, now that I think about it. So I'll put Piggies, I guess, towards the top of the C tier. Maybe below Mortar in the C tier. Recruits. Man, Evo Recruits are getting really good, guys, because the Bomb Tower got a nerf, so even if people still use Bomb Tower, I feel like the Evo Recruits can kind of deal with it now that it has a slower hit speed, because the Evo Recruits can just charge on the Bomb Tower and destroy it. Evo Recruits are really good, man. I think I'll put them... Ooh. I guess below Arrows in the A tier. I think they're very good. We'll have to see, but I feel like they might be very good. I don't know, some people might disagree with me. You know what, I guess I'll put them low, low A tier, behind the graveyard. Skeleton Army. It's not really used in anything, even Giant Graveyard stopped using it last season, but maybe now with Evo Bats, you're going to kind of want to have that extra spell bait in there. I guess I'll put it below Mega Knight in C tier. Maybe even below Electro Dragon and Freeze actually. Skeleton Barrel. It's used in one Skeleton Barrel Recruits deck, and that's pretty much it. You guys might say some Log Bait decks use it, but those Log Bait decks really aren't meta at all for top ladder players. Hmm. This is kind of hard to say. I'll put it above the Electro Giant in the C tier. Skeleton Dragons. They're quite good right now. They're quite good in Lava Hound. That's mainly it, but they're really good in Lava Hound. They really help Lava Hound to be a very solid deck right now. I'll put them... Ooh. I'll actually put them towards the top of the C tier. Skeleton King. He's not used in too many decks, but he's used quite a bit in Mortar. And mainly, mainly just Mortar, I feel like. Not too many other decks use him. But now that Evo Knight got a nerf, maybe there'll be slightly more room for champions like Skeleton King to kind of shine. I'll let the Skeleton King be below the Skeleton Dragons in the C tier. Skeletons, very good card. I think they are better than Goblins to be honest. Kind of tough to say where exactly they should go. I guess below the arrows seems pretty fitting. Sparky. Man, Sparky was ranked quite low for quite some time, but it is quite a good card now. At least it was, and I think the meta should still suit Sparky pretty well, so I don't really see that changing too much. The Goblin Giant buffs really helped Sparky become much more viable once again. Hmm. I'll put Sparky... Above the RG and C tier. Could even be low B tier, but I don't know. I'm kind of hesitant to rank it super high. It's probably a pretty good deck right now because of the Goblin Trap more so than the Sparky itself. Tesla. Tesla got a small buff a little while back. And now that Bomb Tower got a nerf, it might make a bit more space for Tesla. I think I will 
put it high up in the C tier. We'll have to see if it ends up actually being this good, but it is used in Hoggy Q mainly, and also sometimes some random Expo decks and Log Bait. Ooh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think I actually do have to rank it a bit higher. I'll put it below Mother Witch in the B tier because Hoggy Q uses it and also Log Bait uses it, and a few other decks here and there. Log. I could put it S tier or a very high A tier. I think I'll put it S tier. Why not? Three Musketeers. They weren't really used at all last season. Sometimes Three Musketeers make a comeback here and there, but they almost always end up falling off pretty soon after, unfortunately. I'll put it below the Mega Knight in the C tier. Tombstone. Tombstone was quite good last season, mainly in Graveyard and some Lava Hound decks. That's pretty much it though. Hmm, I guess I'll let it go above the Lava Hound in B tier. Tornado. Tornado was going to get a nerf, but they decided not to nerf the Tornado. I kind of wish it did get a nerf. I feel like it would be nice to see what a meta without Tornado would be like. Or at least with a toned down Tornado. I know people might think I'm biased since I'm a Hog player, but I do beat a lot of Tornado decks too, so I'm not really too biased about it. I like playing Tornado, but I don't like facing it that much. We can let Tornado be behind the Ice Spirit in A tier. Valkyrie. Man, Valkyrie is not good right now. Knight is 10 times better. And also, Evil Recruits counter Valkyrie because the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie doesn't even have enough range to actually hit the Evil Recruits unless it's walking up to them, if you know what I mean. Like, if you play it in the middle against Evil Recruits, it's only going to hit the recruit that it's targeting instead of splashing all of them. I will have to put Valkyrie quite low. I guess below the freeze in the C tier. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's slightly viable in competitive play. But that's about it. I guess right, right here is fine. It's so bad because of Evo Knight being a thing. Wall Breakers. Minor Wall Breakers are so good right now. Even after the Magic Archer nerf, I feel like it will still be a decent deck. And also the Bats version will still be very viable for sure. I could put it low A tier, but I think I may stick with the B tier. I guess at the top of the B tier is a good place for them, which... Hmm. I think I'll put it at the top of the F tier. I know a few giant graveyard players use it, and that's pretty much it. A lot of mid-ladder menaces use it as well. <laughs> Fire Mage. I mean, he has a very good outfit, you know, 10 out of 10 outfit. But this isn't an outfit tier list. Yeah, I mean, I guess I do have to put him in the F tier. Lower down in the F tier. Expo. Expo's quite bad right now. Nobody really plays Icebo or Expo Queen Tornado. There are a few Expo players at top ladder playing 3.0 and stuff like that, but that's just players who are very good at the deck, not really Expo being very good at all itself. I think I'll put it above, I don't know, hmm, I guess above the Valkyrie in the C tier, Zappies, they're quite good in recruits, maybe a couple other decks use it here and there, but not really too much, I guess one RG deck does use it as well in competitive, competitive play, <laughs> so Zappies not a half bad card. I'll put them above the Sparky in the C tier. Zap. Some Lava Hound decks do play Zap, and that's pretty much it. So I guess Zap can just be kind of kind of in the middle of the C tier here, maybe below Dark Goblin. Alright, and that's our full tier list. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!